This story comes from Mie, Atsuka who lives in Emu City in northern Osaka. Until around age, Ogo Atsuka was often taken by his mother to visit Grandma's house, which has since changed hands. What remains strongly in Atsuka's memory about Grandma's house is the following. The house had a storehouse. It was a splendid storehouse with whitewashed, solid walls, located quite a distance from the main building. Atsuka often played around the storehouse, but for some reason Grandma didn't like him doing so. Or rather, if she caught him playing there, she'd scold him harshly. Little, if you want to play do it in the front garden or inside the house. Got it? Don't play here. She give him that kind of warning over and over. But why was even being near the storehouse, let alone inside, off limits? If it was dangerous or out of bounds, wouldn't the well be a bigger concern? Anyway, tell a child not to do something, and it makes them want to do it more. The storehouse entrance always had a sturdy lock, but once, somehow it was left slightly ajar. Of course Atsuka wouldn't miss that chance, and adventure. The interior was damp and dusty, with a unique smell. Unlike his imagination, it was mostly empty and vacant. What did catch his interest was the steep staircase to the second floor. Right, by the entrance. Kriek. Kla. Kriek. Kla. The boards loudly protested each step. Oh, scary. The second floor wasn't much different from the first. Again, almost nothing inside. Matsuka felt a little let down. Dust swirled up with each step, sunbeams filtering through small windows forming multiple curtains of light. The only eye-catching thing, hoping to stir up more dust. Atsuka was stomping and dashing around heedless of dirt when he bumped into something. Boof. He was knocked back, landing hard on his behind. Then he froze, confused, because he had no idea what he collided with. After all, the place was empty. Just drifting modes of dust. Nothing. Nothing at all. Kriek. Amid the silence. Something creaked behind him from the stairs. Someone stepping on the boards? Grandma? Atsuka reflexively assumed. More than what he bumped into. He worried about being caught trespassing and scolded. So he timidly began turning back, craning his neck. Her face was there. An unknown woman, apparently female, standing midway up the stairs. Staring fixedly at Atsuka from about level with the second floor. Only the area from her lips up was visible. The details here are hazy, but Atsuka barely remembers her hair or facial features. Just that her wide open eyes had the irises almost entirely hidden by the lids. They looked utterly dead, like a dead fish. The face quickly withdrew downwards. Then total silence, no approaching footsteps. Upstairs or exiting the storehouse, suddenly Atsuka burst into tears. Despite no pain or having been harmed by the stranger, he bawled at the top of his lungs. Hearing him, his mother rushed over shortly after. Surprisingly, Atsuka wasn't scolded much. But when told what happened in the storehouse, his mother and grandma suddenly fell silent. That night as Atsuka slept in the guest room, he heard his mother and grandma talking in hushed voices through the Fujima. It was open again. The lock fallen off. What on earth is going on? Even so, can we really demolish that place? We were told not to buy her. When Nez saw it, pale grinning faces packed the darkness, she said. Voices are getting louder too. Lately I'm a total scaredy cat. Afraid to walk the hall alone at night. What if it gets into the main building? I screamed at the intense presence the other day. Grandma sounded strangely shaky and pathetic, Atsuka recalls. The grandma's house was gone before Atsuka reached at Othud. The notorious storehouse demolished at that time. Now nobody knows what Atsuka experienced, or if anything, was amiss with that storehouse, not even relatives. Currently a stylish, modern home occupies the former side of grandma's house. From the outside it appears a perfectly ordinary house, but whether the former storehouse plot is ordinary is another question.